Hi everybody, it is April and I'm in my craft room and today we are going to make another of the quilts that was in the three hour quilt tutorial. Start with the same nine patch with the same size fat quarters and come up with a totally different design. If you recall, I did a quilt that was a nine patch, but it was made up of fat quarter squares. So it was one giant nine patch quilt, and then we cut it in order to make it a disappearing nine patch. One of you lovely people who watch my tutorials sent me an email and asked me if I had a problem with her using that design. She is part of a small quilt guild and her name is Hazel. She wanted to actually make the quilts during one of their meetings. She sent me pictures of the quilts that they made at the quilt guild. Oh my goodness. There were some variations that I decided I would like to share with you all. And I emailed Hazel back and I said, do you think that the person who did this particular design would have a problem with me doing a video tutorial on it and you know let me know so she emailed me back and said that barbara would have no problem with me doing that and to share the video when i put it out after that big long explanation if you are still here i am going to do a supplement to the design that we made in the three hour quilt tutorial. I am going to show you my fabrics. They've all been cut to size and then I am going to sew them together and make the nine patch and that is when the fun happens. So let me go through my fabrics. I'll take them over, get them sewn up, and then I'll come back and if you didn't see the original video I will link it at the end of this video because you know want you to watch this whole video not click over to that video and then have to worry about coming back and watching the rest of this video it's all in your best interest and you'll be able to click it at the end and go watch it from there fabric one is live out loud from hello angel fabric two is from Walmart fabric three is from Walmart Fabric four is from Walmart. This is fabric I don't know anymore. The next fabric, since I can't remember the number, is Walmart. This orange fabric is one that I used in another quilt recently and the selvage was gone. Polka dot orange fabric is Walmart. And this last pretty green is Northcott Stonehenge Green. Here is my quilt. Let me hold it up for you so you can kind of see it. Don't go anywhere because this is where it gets interesting. Here is the first version of the quilt that I'm trying to figure out how to make. The reason it didn't turn out the way that I was expecting was because of the placement of my fabric and my fabric choices. If I do it correctly this time, as far as choosing the colors and where I put them, then I should get the effect that I want. There's nothing wrong with this. This is fine. And I will add a border and probably put Minky on the back and, and give somebody a quilt. I believe that this is what I need to do to achieve the dimensional look that I'm looking for. So I've put two oranges here in these corners. I've put a purple in this upper corner and a purple in this lower corner. I've put a dark fabric in the center. And then I've done greens all on the other blocks so that even though they're not exactly the same, they're similar in color. And on my other piece, I did a whole lot of prints. So now I'm going to go make it a nine patch. No, I'm not gonna make it a nine patch. It's already a nine patch. I am going to go make this a disappearing nine patch. 
I will point you to the other video at the end, but I just fold this in half and then you fold it in half again and you cut a sliver along both folds. Be right back. So far, we have done the exact same thing with this nine patch that we did with the other nine patch and with the nine patch from the video previously. No, 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 hold on. We have one more thing to do to make it really exactly like we already did. Now, this is the giant disappearing nine patch. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I have to make one more cut in each one of these blocks. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put them back on the wall and then I'm going to show you how the magic happens. Here is my nine patch. But what I've done is I have cut from corner to corner. And this is how I did it. The important thing for this cut is to cut the diagonal from the tip of your small block in the middle through the seam exactly in the middle and then all the way to the point at the other end of your block. I always start on the small side because I don't have a ruler that's long enough to span that entire distance. So I start by placing my ruler where I'm going to cut this little area where the four corners meet perfectly. And then I adjust my ruler down to the point here. You can kind of manipulate your fabric a little bit on this second part of the cut, but this right here, this is really important for matching back. So I'm going to cut as far as I can go. Now I'm going to line up the edge of my ruler with the edge of my previous cut. And then I'm going to line up my point. And in this particular case, I just kind of moved my fabric, kind of smoothed it out and it is on my point. So as long as you're straight on the edge here and on your point, you should be good. And there you have your two pieces. Please ignore the air conditioner in the background. I don't know when it's gonna shut off. So now this is where the magic transformation happens. I am going to take this block here and I am going to take the opposite block and I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to kind of flip it over. And this is why I wanted the two similar oranges where they were in the nine patch. Then I'm going to put this block here. And then I'm going to take this block from the top, take this block from the bottom, And I don't know if you can see it yet, but there's the illusion that this block and this block are covering a block of cats here. So let me throw these together and then hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. When you're sewing these blocks together, you want to make sure that the ends of the black blocks and that corner where we cut on a diagonal line up. There is quite a bit of bulk right there. So you can snip 
if there's some excess that you can snip but just try to get them to line up as best you can. So you can see all the dimension. It looks like this orange block and this orange block are covering a black block behind them. Barbara, did I do it right? If you watch this video, please let me know if there was an easier way to do what I did. I was just kind of um, sleuthing it a little bit. Thank you everybody for joining me. Have a great day, eat some chocolate, and be kind to everyone. Until next time. As at the start. Sleepy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and so she just. Oh my goodness. Ah! So she wrote back and said, Hazel. Not Hazel. on the, ow, on the electric, on the electronics.